opportunities are endless for from everything from environmental, you know, uh, surveying, mining, uh, power lines, pipelines, uh, infrastructure inspection, you name it, everything out there, even down to entertainment. UPS, we see drones uh, having uh, you know, really three areas uh, in particular uh, from a humanitarian perspective. We think there's uh, great op applications that could really benefit uh, mankind. Uh, we also think there's uh, opportunities to, be, uh, to, to benefit our facilities uh, and our maintenance operations from an inspection perspective. And then we also think there's some commercial opportunities as well. Uh, there's lots of training that takes place to, so that the pilots can demonstrate the capability to perform competently. Um, so all those practices, you know, based on what we do today, we know that in the future, whatever those applicable standards are for a remote control pilot will be the same. To establish standards that will, that could be used worldwide. Uh, and that's gonna take a lot of collaboration. So it's not done in isolation. It'll take a lot of collaborations with, uh, you, know, um, you know, ICAO and IATA and organizations worldwide so that the standards and practices that are developed, you know, can be universally applied everywhere. In Airbus, we are handling these uh, drones as if they were aircraft. So I think this is a good, um, a good advantage that we have uh, basically um, three years ago. We're looking at multiple um, activities and multiple applications sharing the airspace. That's our biggest detractor from business development right now, is regulations. So regulations has to change. It has to change fast to accommodate that. Because no government wants to, wants to stop the industry from growing. Because it creates jobs, it creates infrastructure, it creates everything.